last night, um, yeah, we decided to, to get a room in a little hotel, a little town here, with a pretty nice view. Because, um, yeah, out of this crazy descent from 1,900 meters with all the snow and pushing our bikes, we were completely wet and, uh, yeah, physically and mentally <laughs> on the limit. And it also got dark. We are in Pusina. We slept here tonight. Um, and today is probably gonna be the longest uh, day of the route, like at least in uh, terms of kilometers. Um, yeah, let's see how, how much we can do of that. I will just ride until it gets dark. Yep, we're not so ready. <laughs> We are both absolutely at the limit after yesterday and today, of course, first thing we do is go uphill again. Somewhere up there, it's like 20, 30 switchbacks and 1000 meters of vertical elevation gain. Uh, yep, gonna take a while, but... Uh, I don't know, we'll probably survive it. Jeez, man. This was supposed to be a paved road. Now it's gravel and rocks and often barely rideable. It's gonna be a tough one. So for the past hour or so, we've been riding this path uphill all the way from like 400 to 1200 meters above sea level. And you really have to fight for every single meter because there's yeah rocks everywhere. You have to fight for the grip um, and you can't really take your eyes off the road for a second because yeah, it's all full of, uh, full of these rocks. Um, it's really hot, but really, really fun. Thank you, did again. <laughs> We thought that we'd be kind of done with the off-road stuff for today and now this is an asphalt road but it's all snow. Whew. A bit exhausting, a lot of pushing but yeah what can you do?
now basically at the uh, southern edge of the Alps and uh, we've got a long descent in front of us about maybe 15 kilometers and yeah a thousand meters of elevation loss so that should be really nice and uh, we're gonna descend into Bassano del Grappa and we're gonna have a nice evening there I don't know where we're gonna go from there but yeah first we're gonna look for a place uh, that has Yo, after having a pizza, we just <laughs> raced to the supermarket because it was open only like two more minutes and got some beers. Hell yeah. And some snacks. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> Die sind voll? Ich weiß nicht. Sie meinte voll, oder? BNB <laughs> Sinfonia. Should we go for Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart or Ludwig van Beethoven? I think we're gonna go for Vivaldi. That sounds pretty decent. Jeez, this is a pain. We're basically only looking for Wi Fi to kind of plan the uh, yeah, next days, and we don't have Wi Fi in the tent. So we are uh, currently being escorted to a bed and breakfast because uh, we were looking for one and all were booked out um, but this woman now from one b and the one booked out she's really nice and uh, she's getting us to another b and right now <laughs> we are now in a b and b in uh, Bassano del Grappa and we don't know what to do the thing with this whole trip is that we didn't really have a plan so we decided like less than 24 hours before that we go to Italy and do some uh, yeah heavy uh, trail bikepacking stuff high up in the mountains. But now uh, yeah the weather turned around and it's gonna rain a lot the next few days. And yeah, it's just too um, dangerous to do all these trails. And it's also not that fun because we don't have all the clothes. So now for yeah the past two days we've basically been thinking about what we do next. I mean, it's been five uh, amazing days on the uh, Neto Divide Trail. Like that was, uh, yeah, that was really, really uh, sick nature and trails and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty epic days out on the bike. Um, and now we're basically looking for a place anywhere in Europe where the weather's all right. So Erik um, left just now to go back to Freiburg because uh, he wasn't feeling so well. And yeah, it wouldn't really have been good to continue on. Um, and yeah, so now I'm left here um, in Bassano and don't really know where to go. I'm going to the train station now, but there's bad weather everywhere basically. Um, Hungary is the only place where the weather's good, but there's no real mountains. You'd think Croatia would be warm, but it isn't. Uh, Slovenia has lots of rain as well in the coming days. Um, only like the coast of Italy with like Genua and Monaco, there's a bit better. Um, or Sardinia, um, which I'm thinking about taking the ferry to. I don't know, it's all wide open. I've got two more weeks and I don't know, this, this bad weather is really. Yeah. Let's go.